I'm Willie Parker, and here come my main man, the bus, on his own Jerome Betty show. Come on, come on, come on, come on. The wheels on the bus go round, have you heard? Jerome Betty show in the heart of Pittsburgh. Okay, you know, I'm going to do this legal, so I'll make the song just fly like an eagle. But we all know who is the star. He's big like a truck. He moves like a sports car. Shifty, nimble, cuts on a thimble. The sound of his name makes feedback tremble. JB, he brings the ruckus. When he's rolling down field, they say, come to bust here. The next dealer in the Hall of Fame. All that in a tailback from Notre Dame. With all he's done, he's still Jerome, the kid from Detroit, but Pittsburgh's his home. So here we go without further ado, the Jerome Bettis Show right here on Channel 2. It's the Giant Eagle, Jerome Bettis Show. Let's bring him out, the bus, Jerome Bettis. The Giant Eagle, Jerome Bettis Show, brought to you by Giant Eagle. Make every day taste better by the H.J. Heinz Company. Welcome back to Heinz Field by your neighborhood Ford store and by Isley's Original Deli Meats and Cheeses. Let's give it up for the star of the show, number 36, the bus. Let's go nuts, Jerome Bennett! These people are fired up for some playoff football, and we've arrived wow. at the second season. Steelers and Cincinnati Bengals coming up here 430 on KDKA. And you hear them, one more year, they're <laughs> chanting, they want you back for one more oh, year. Oh my goodness, I'll tell you what. And um, I heard that in the stadium, it was incredible. Uh, it was a very special moment. All the fans, I mean, you've all been incredible. They've been incredible with me, so it's just been great. So, are you gonna answer their question? I'm working on it. I'm working <laughs> on it. Well, I know that you're going to take your time and make the right decision, but I got to tell you, that had to be one of the most emotional days in your football career. Everything that happened on Sunday, start at the beginning, running through the tunnel, coming out. You really seemed as if you were savoring that moment. I mean, you were back there just looking around. It looked like, was it like that for you? You know, it was one of those moments that uh, you want to try to savor everything and, and really get a snapshot of everything that's happening. Uh, Last year, uh, going out, going out, last game, played the Patriots, uh, and I didn't get that opportunity to kind of soak it up. You know, the, the moment was so big in terms of the AFC Championship and what it meant that I didn't get a chance to do anything myself personally. So this was an opportunity for me to just to kind of look at everything and, and just kind of get that snapshot in case it is the last time that I'll have those memories for me forever. What was it like after the game? Because I know all the guys were in the locker room, and I've talked to many of them who said they were very, very emotional. I understand that Dick Hoke, your running back coach, uh, was brought to tears. What was it like in there with those guys? You know, it was it was very emotional, and uh, it was one of those moments that uh, you know you never forget. And, and all of you guys come over to you and and uh, just acknowledge, um, you know, you and and everything that you've done your whole career. So it was it was a really special moment in the, in that locker room because. You know, all of us, you know, we have a mission, you know, but, you know, in the midst of that, they still were able to uh, come over and uh, and show me that support, and that was big. Now, that mission is starting against Cincinnati Bengals. It's the trilogy matchup, round three. You guys are favored in this game, which tells me a lot of people realize you're a very dangerous number six seed. Wow. Right? That is. You're a favorite. Not many road teams six seed are a favorite. Wow. That is, that, that, that tells you something. Now, you know, we feel good about about what we're doing and uh, we're looking forward to, for this opportunity because you know they came in our place the last last time and they won one and and you know we made some mistakes but we're looking forward for the to this one well the first time you played it was uh, basic blueprint Steeler football running the football well playing good defense and our special guest here tonight had a big game over 130 yards rushing so why don't you do the honors of bringing him down I want to introduce the starting tailback over 1200 yards rushing on the season fast Willie Parker. 
standing ovation and rightfully so for Willie Parker. Very, very well deserved. Very well deserved. <laughs> now, Willie, you know, you come out 1,200 yards. I mean, you know, you go back in, in, in training camp. What did you think your role on this team was going to be in training camp? Really, I was just trying to get a role, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I never would have painted this picture in a million years. I mean, it's just so special just to be beside you. As I said, when I first came on the show, and just watching a guy like you just teach me from, I want to say when I'm little, it seemed like I knew you so long. And um, <laughs> I want to thank you for everything. Right <laughs> no, I know that relationship must be special for you, and uh, he's meant a lot to you. What have you learned? I know early in the season you were talking about maybe missing some holes or not hitting things, and I know he's talked to you quite a bit about that. What have you learned from Jerome from a running back point of view? Uh, he'd be on me hard. He'd be like, hey, man, you missed the hole again. <laughs> <laughs> so I listened to him day in, day out, and um, I learned a lot. Actually, you know I can't run like this guy. I can't run <laughs> nobody over. <laughs> My best bet is to run away from him, so I try to, I try to utilize that to the um, best. And um, I, you'll never see me running nobody over, getting up, doing a little dance he do. So, but the one thing I try to do is, is, is for Willie is I want you know I, I, I want him to be perfect in the sense that uh, I know I know he's got all the ability in the world, and so it's my job to to make sure that. He's, he's, he sees everything that he's supposed to see. And I just feel like it's, it, if something happens, it's my fault. So I, I just want to make sure I give him all the tools. And uh, 1,200 yards, it looks like uh, he, he had a lot of tools of his own. That's for sure. He did a good job, no doubt. And the average was 4.7 yards per carry, too. So, I mean, spectacular stuff for Willie Parker. And when we come back, we'll continue our conversation with Fast Willie. We'll talk about his challenge, which he lost to Jerome earlier this year. And plenty of other stuff. A playoff edition of the Giant Eagle Jerome Better Show coming up here. More. John, back to you. Tomorrow, KDKA is live from Cincinnati with extended playoff Steelers coverage starting at 1 o'clock on UPN Pittsburgh with the McDonald's Steelers Kids Zone. Then at 1.30 on UPN, it's the Steelers Digest. Then switch over to KDKA TV at 2 o'clock for two full hours of the McDonald's Steelers kickoff all on your home of the Pittsburgh Steelers. KDKA TV. Still more to come. It's the Giant Eagle Jerome Bata Show, but let's go inside the Steeler locker room. Take it away, bus. Have you seen any difference in Willie's had a big game? Has his head gotten any bigger? It's funny that you asked that, Bussy. I came here early this morning. He had a Franco Harris jersey on. <laughs> but it had Willie Parker on the back. I was like, what is that? <laughs> Stop it. Yeah. So I, I had to jack him in here. So listen, young buck, slow down. Your time is now, of course, but just slow down. And, you know, one day they might retire your number. <laughs> Thanks a lot. No problem. You spend a lot of money on gas. How would you like to spend a lot less? Maybe even earn a free tank. It's easy with fuel perks from Giant Eagle. For every $50 you spend at Giant Eagle and GetGo, you get 10 cents off per gallon of gas at GetGo. Just use your Giant Eagle Advantage card and watch your savings add up. The more you spend, the bigger your discounts. Fuel Perks, just one more way Giant Eagle helps you save. What's this generation coming to? Same great deli taste that's wowed them for generations past. Isley's original chip chopped ham. Fresher, leaner, hammier. Remember Isley's. Ask for it now at your supermarket deli. Hello, I'm Bill Johnson. My co-workers and I are always happy to showcase Western Pennsylvania. We're proud of our downtown headquarters, the Heinz 57 Center, and the new Heinz Innovation Center, our global R&D facility. We market food products all over the world, from Sydney to Shanghai, Moscow to Mumbai. But wherever we go, our journey starts right here in our hometown. The H.J. Heinz Company, offering good food every day and making a difference in our hometown. What's this generation coming to? Same great deli taste that's wowed them for generations past. Isley's original chip chopped ham. Fresher, leaner, hammier. Remember Isley's. Ask for it now at your supermarket deli. Welcome back. It's the Giant Eagle Jerome Bettis Show. Every weekday on the KDKA 5 o'clock news, you can see one of your favorite Steelers live in our studio. On Monday, it's Joey Porter. 
Tuesday, Alan Panico. Wednesday, Jerome Bettis. Thursday, Antoine Randall And Friday, James Ferrier, all live in our studios. So check out the KDKA 5 o'clock news and see why KDKA is the home of your Pittsburgh Steelers. Let's go back to the stage. Take it away, Bob. All right, John, thank you very much. And we want to remind all Steeler fans, if you want something really is a must for your Steeler collection, this would be it. It's the commemorative Steeler DVD. 70 years of Steeler history, NFL films. You get it at all Steeler sideline stores. And, of course, they uh, are here at Heinz Field, also in Monroeville, Pittsburgh Mills, and Grove City Outlets. And you're on here quite a bit. Willie, you will be on here when they make the next version. But you will be. This is 70 years, a complete 70 Steeler. Years. 70 years. Two discs. Two discs. Wow. That's so that's cool. a lot of stuff. And it normally, I think, retails for 28 bucks. If you go to the Steeler sideline stores, it's 20 bucks. So it's a bargain. Yeah, no question about it. And you'll see it. all your great runs on there. Do you want to take home? <laughs> yeah, I do. Show I Jane that Go one. ahead. <laughs> all right, well, let's continue our conversation with Willie Parker here. And, and uh, first of all, looking back here, I, I'm just amazed that the people at, at North Carolina did not play you. I mean, I watch you now, and I'm thinking, what in the world are they thinking? <laughs> How could they not play you then? I just look at that as a, a learning experience, and I wouldn't have no way if I can like take that all back and, and start all over again. I still go back to UNC. I mean, I met some great people there, and um, I don't think it just it was what it was. And they didn't play me; they chose to pick somebody else over me, and I still made the best out of it and used it as motivation. And it's still my motivation as the day as we speak today. So, pretty good motivation. And, and I also must say, you must be motivated when you come down here because you probably expected a challenge. We do a challenge with every guest because the last time you were here, you lost a tricycle challenge to Jerome. You remember this now? I mean, you know, uh, you, of no, course, of course, of course. Well, he's course. never lost on this show, so that's a tough thing. That's because y'all rigged it up so huh? he could cheat. Now, do you, have proof? Do you have proof of that? Today I was ready for the challenge. I already knew it was going to be something wrong. With it. it was going to be different. <laughs> I already knew that. And Y'all knew I knew that. I even played with him in the locker room about it. Yeah. So now y'all don't want to have a out, challenge. He was going to be on the show. He said, yeah, I can't wait. I'm going to beat you in the challenge. I don't care what it is. I'm going to beat you. And I'm like, Willie, I mean, what is, why are you all this anger? If I remember, you won fair and square. I don't know what he's coming from I with the no tricycle challenge. I have no idea what you're talking about. It wasn't fair and square. <laughs> he's a cheater. Everybody <laughs> know he cheats. <laughs> I mean, he's a oh. cheater. That's uh, all it how is. can I cheat on a, on a tricycle? And he, he's not the only one with it. He got a lot of other people with him that's cheating. We don't say that. That's a conspiracy <laughs> theory now. Well, we don't do that. Everybody. So you know, everybody's in on this. Well, Everybody uh, in. To show you how fair it's been, though, we're going to take a look back now, focus on the monitors. You'll see some of the <laughs> challenges cheap. we've had. Fair and square. Jerome's won them all this year. Check them out. Even though we won four out of six Super Bowls, no one had a show like this. Hi, I'm Ben Roethlisberger, and you know who's coming next? The bus. Uh, 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 uh. Ah, come on, come on. I said, ah, <laughs> come on, I got two feet. I said, ah, I said, ah, I said, ah, I said, ah. come on. <laughs> we have a, a dog uh, frisbee show that we're going to do, and um, fortunately for you, I do have a good dog for you. There we go. Out. There we go. Closing. <laughs> Come on, say. Rose has never seen a frisbee before. <laughs> Ike, do you have a chance? <laughs> Bus right, but little Bussy loves you. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Come on, I don't get play football. Ah, Come on, ah, ah, ah. Oh. Venice has the lead. Yeah! <laughs> it's a demolition derby. <laughs> Jerome Bettis <laughs> is just taking it to the house. And Heinz Ward respond. And he does!
That was a great stroke. He had he to make that putt, putt. And he's really proud of that. Oh, I'm very proud. Did you see the throw with Ben? I mean, you cheated on every one of them. We I saw, by the way, cheat. the highlights of your tricycle, and it seemed like you missed a couple of cones there. So how, uh, I think it was uh, more. Exactly. He's just mad when he was a child, he didn't have a tricycle. <laughs> so he don't know how to ride a tricycle. <laughs> so he's blaming me for some deficiencies he had in his I, youth. Don't actually, blame me. Actually, on the tricycle race, they explained the direction. They said, first of all, you're going to ride forward and ride backwards. He didn't ride backwards either way, so why did he win? That is not the case. See, those back roads in North Carolina, that's they didn't I, have tricycles. Didn't you could ride tricycles, see? That's what happened. That's what happened. Oh, I don't know well. what you're talking about. Bottom uh, line is Jerome is still undefeated on his own show. So that's what it's all about, Willie. Maybe if he comes back next year, you'll get another chance. We'll see how it goes. There's some high stepping going to the break right now. We'll come back with plenty more. We get set for the Cincinnati Bengals. John Klein, back to you. Don't forget, Steeler fans, you can pick up your copy of Steeler's History of the Steeler's Sideline Starts, the one that we saw here on the show a moment ago. It's a double DVD set, the complete history of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Just stop by the Steelers Sideline Store at Heinz Field, Monroeville Mall, Grove City, and now the brand new store at Pittsburgh Mills. Or just go online at Steelers.com for your double DVD of Steeler history. Still more to come. It's the Giant Eagle, Jerome Bettis Show. We'll be right back, but first... Let's go back inside that Steeler locker room. Take it away, bus. This is the locker room with Mike Logan. Mike, uh, the question for the day is Willie Parker. Has his head gotten any bigger? Well, you know, we sit over here on what we like to call the south side of the locker. And as you can see, he used to be squunched up in the corner like a little rookie, wouldn't say too much. Now he just got his cleats out, throwing them all, his bag all on the floor, his shower shoes everywhere. So he might be humble when he talks to y'all, but inside this locker room, swelling up. Well, he, he got a junky locker, right? Look at his locker, man. So he's he supposed to keep their locker clean. And now it's just dirty. He don't care about nothing. It's <laughs> just dirty. Thanks a lot, man. All right, Jerome. <laughs> Cheryl Richards, PPG marketing manager and high school science mentor. Steve McCowan, research chemist and Pittsburgh Zoo and PPG aquarium volunteer. Lady Cumpiano, assistant counsel, and Big Brothers Big Sisters volunteer. Just a few of the thousands of people working for PPG and helping to unlock the potential of our community. PPG, unlocking potential. More on this story later. And now, Hal Meeker with this week's forecast. Well, Ted, high pressure from the Gulf is pushing the jet stream north, which means unseasonably warm temperatures and no snow. on the Toro Power Max snow thrower. With its incredible quick stick shoot control, you'll wonder why no one thought of this before. How does Supercuts know how it is? So what are we thinking? You know what, I... This is Brad's girlfriend. Make him look like a naughty little monkey. Mm -hmm. oh. okay. No, Did we need something respectable. Me? Okay, okay, how about something hot for the ladies, yet conservative enough for Philip's big day? Yeah. How did you... Give me that! Give me that! Supercuts. We know how it is. Oh, you look so fluffy. He's as cute as you want to be. Is that your Silverado? 345 horsepower. The new Vortec Max V8 outtoes all the other guys. Good boy. Good man. 
New incentives have just been announced on Silverado from the family of Chevy trucks, the most dependable, longest-lasting trucks on the road. Chevy, the best-selling cars and trucks in Pittsburgh for the last seven years. Steeler fans, don't forget to catch Jerome on KDK Radio every Wednesday morning with Larry Richard at the bus stop. And then Jerome is on KDK Radio every Monday evening, 6.30, inside the red zone. Right now, we're going inside Isley's Do You Remember, John? All season long, we've never had anybody get the question wrong. So, Tiffany, a lot of pressure on you. This is Tiffany from Brookline. Are you ready? All right. All right, the question. What Steelers running back carried the ball 267 times for 1,186 yards and 11 touchdowns in 1979? Tiffany, for the Isley's hat. Franco Harris? Franco Harris is right! How about that for some bad acting? <laughs> Back to you, Jerome. Thanks, John. Franco, Franco Harris led the 1979 Steelers in rushing with 1,186 yards and 11 touchdowns, while Rocky Blyer finished third behind Sidney Thornton. <laughs> that was not bad acting. She sold it pretty good. I thought. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> I think she was going to say Jerome Bettis, but that would really make you old, and Willie yeah, be talking exactly. about it. Exactly. <laughs> Tell me about it. Well, you know, we've reached the point of the show, Willie Parker, where we're going to find out more about you because it's Jerome's opportunity to wear the uh, journalist hat, go in the locker room with a camera and microphone, and find out everything there is to know about Willie Parker. Was it, was it a challenging assignment this time? Uh, it, it is somewhat challenging because, you know, Willie is quiet, but he's come out of his shell as of late. Uh, 